Hey guys, so today we're gonna show you how we feed these monsters. Um, we have a lot of different species in the, in the mega tank, but majority of them we eat the same thing. Today we're feeding them uh, mullets. They already come frozen. Uh, I would say this was about six to seven pounds of mullet, and every single one of them will eat it. Even the, the sturgeons will try to get some of it. But I try to feed them every day, I mean every other day, different stuff, you know. One day will be tilapia, one day will be shrimp, uh, mullets. They also like frog legs. These guys will pretty much eat anything. I try to stay away from uh, Chinese tilapia or anything that is made in China because they add um, things to it that you don't want to feed your fish. But other than that, um, these guys are pretty healthy. We just finished the filtration system, so the water's getting clearer and clearer by the day. Um, we were leaving the lights on, and we have LED lights. So that was a problem because we had an algae bloom, but the reason why we're leaving the lights on is because we don't want anybody to jump out, you know, get spooked and jump out in the middle of the night. But uh, we finally got some covers and uh, we're able to leave the light off. But in this video, you see we have a tiger shovel nose, Black diamond stingrays, uh, platinum red tails, albino pock, who's albino knife fish, arapaimas. We pretty much keep them all together. They all do fine together. Um, as long as you keep everybody well fed, you know. It's, uh, it's very important to keep these guys well fed because they'll try to eat, you know, each other when they're, when they're hungry. Uh, or start, you know, biting each other's fins and stuff. I also like to feed them uh, the curry pellets. We do the monster size ones. Everybody seems to love it, especially the, the sturgeons and uh, the albino, iridescent shark. The catfish also love it as well. I even seen the stingrays go for them. So I would definitely recommend them. It seems like it's a good product. Um, the arowanas and the tarpon, they don't really go for it, but I've seen every other fish, including the turtle, go after it. Uh, but the, the tank is about 35 feet long, 10 feet wide, 5 feet tall. So there's a lot of space for these fish to grow. And uh, the good thing about this tank is if we move to a bigger facility, you know, we'll have to cut it down because it's fiberglass. But I can always add more panels so we can always make it bigger. That's one of we decided to go this route. So we can always make a, a bigger tank if we have to. But I would say these fish have plenty of space to swim for a couple more years, including the arapaimas. They look so small now compared to the temporary pond we used to have them in. Uh, but I've been keeping the, the temperature in this tank about 80 degrees. Um, even though I've heard a lot of about the sturgeons, they only live you know, in colder water. The sturgeons will do fine as long as you acclimate them slowly and also have a lot of uh, oxygen in the water. That's why they need colder water. But um, they will live just fine and eat and be healthy the same way. We're hoping that this big stingray will end up breeding soon. We're, the bat ray is not ready to breed yet. It's just, it's still, he's still a baby, but this big female, hopefully she'll uh, give us some nice pups with the other large black diamond we have in, in the pool. And, those will look pretty nice. But we're still trying to get more species of fish. You know, we try to leave a lot of space for uh, the rescues that come in. A lot of people also ask me about uh, the bat stingray. Um, actually, they don't even ask. They just comment that it's been cut and how it's not humane. And just to let you know, the bat stingray is actually a deformity. They're born that way. Um, and there's nothing wrong with them. They just don't have the full circle. But no, we do not cut them and we will never do that. Um, I just don't see why not have one if they're born that way, you know, and they're just as healthy and happy as any other stingrays. Um, I can't wait for this little guy to get bigger. I think he's gonna look awesome when he's, you know, two feet long, looking like the bat symbol, Batman symbol, that's pretty cool. But yeah, now just to let everybody know, we do not cut them or we don't purchase 
animals that have been cut from other breeders. Um, these are legit born this way. And to keep everybody informed on the species of fish we have in it right now, uh, we have three types of sturgeon. That one in the back there is a diamondback sturgeon. Uh, we also have a sterler sturgeon and a subruga sturgeon. There's three species of sturgeon. That's a pearl stingray, albino channel catfish. Uh, we also have a clown knife. That clown knife is actually caught here in South Florida, both of them. It's just a regular clown. That one just has a lot of cool spots. That's a sterlet. We have an Indonesian tarpon, two aeropimas, three red-tailed catfish, one platinum red-tailed catfish, uh, two lynx catfish, tiger shovel nose catfish, a Vailanti catfish, which is from Peru, and a real Piraiba from Suriname. That one all the way in the back swimming. That thing, it's a monster. We get huge, big guy. I always like to say hi. Uh, what else do we have? Six silver iguanas, two albino knife fish, uh, two butterfly peacocks a pair. That's a nice size bite uh, Four Indonesian detnoids, either four or five, I can't remember. One albino iridescent shark, and albino paco, plus the rays. So there's a lot of fish in there right now, but we have enough filtration to put more enough filtration in space i just want to make sure all these fish are happy and well fed you know it costs a lot to feed them i say about a, a week it's uh, three to four hundred dollars just to feed this tank every week so it's definitely pricey but it's worth it you know to be able to see this amazing fish every day and bring them in and sell them you know these the ones during the mega tank they're not for sale you know those are for display only they're my fish i've been raising her for a while uh, like this aeropima she's the reason why everything started you know i had her when she was 10 inches three and a half years ago so i had to find a bigger place for her i had someone offer me ten thousand or i wouldn't sell her. Um, it's just my fish are like my dogs you know i just can't can't get rid of them that's why I built this this monster sized tank, you know, just to display and have them have a nice home for them to grow. Um, but if you guys have any questions on filtration or if you see any fish in the, in the tank that you would want for your tank, just let us know. Even if we don't have any stock, we can always get it. Um, some fish we can bring in two two feet long. Some of them we can only bring in small because it costs a lot for to ship from other countries. Plus, it's not safe to ship something at that size. But we do have pretty much all the species there for sale. Uh, certain, some species are harder than others, like the platinum red tail. It's not always available. The bat ray, I haven't seen many for sale. Uh, but everything else. You know, like a binder knife, we can we can get them. We had them up to ten inches. You know, sometimes we get them at four or five inches, but they're definitely a, a good pond fish because you can see them, especially if you have a pond outside or the black liner. Any albino fish, like a binder knife or a binder iridescent shark or paco, they're pretty strong fish, and also they're you can you'll be able to see them. One of my very favorites is that turtle. Uh, I cannot get in the pond or in the tank. She won't leave me alone. Never bit me, but will always come up and, you know, spook. And you don't want to step on a stingray while you get spooked by, by the turtle. So majority of times when I get in, I'll, I'll pull her out and then I'll put her back in and swim with her. Uh, like two nights ago, I was in it cleaning the tank and I literally had to hold her like a baby for her to stop chasing me around. And uh, while I was just holding her, I was able to clean the, the viewing panels. So hopefully next time I'll have an underwater camera, I can film that. If you guys plan on building a, a pond, and you have any questions on how to do the filtration, or water quality, and what type of fish you put with each other, just leave in the comments below. Uh, we'll try to read and help you as much as we can. Uh, you can also send me a text or an email. 
number here at the shop is 561-430-7944. Our email is livefish at predatoryfins.com. You can actually find the majority of these fish at our website at www.predatoryfins.com. But thanks for watching. You can please subscribe, share the video, and I will promise we'll be trying to put more videos up as much as we can. Alright guys, have a great day.